Welcome back guys. We're going to do another state video today and I think we're going to go over Arizona but there's a lot here so I'm going to be really quick with the gold. Let's just move right into it. All right so I've got a breakdown of the the gold by counties and normally I'd be a little bit more informative of reading from it but I'm going to just go through the counties in a, a, a real quick breath. All right so Apache County it's in the Painted Desert region and it's found in the clays that the gold is in small particles disseminated in it. So you go find these residual clays and it's, it's a large region called the Painted Desert. You can get gold out of the clay, all right? And then we got the Chochisi, yeah, Chochisi County, and uh, it's third among Arizona's gold producing counties. So, and if I go too fast, just go ahead and pause it to read it if it's relevant to you. Um, I'm gonna keep going through this real quick though. So you got Chochino County, which is also in the Painted Desert region and is in the residual clays. You got Gila County, so it's eighth among Arizona's gold producing counties with a little over 250,000 ounces of gold. Nice. All right, Graham County, uh, Arizona, it's near Ashurst, it's southwest on the Klondike Road, and uh, these guys have also gotten quite a bit out, so if you want to look into that area. You got Greenlee County, uh, it's near Clifton, there are many area mines that produce gold and copper, there's, there's quite a bit, and there's plaster gold. Um, and let's go down to Maricopa County, guys. It's the fifth largest gold producing uh, county with almost 500,000 ounces of gold, which is pretty prestigious. Um, you've got several districts uh, throughout there. You've got the Red uh, Picacho Placers, and uh, that's located in the San Domino District, and that place pulled a lot of gold. Um, so Mojave County, Arizona. It's ranking second amongst uh, Arizona's gold producing counties at 2,461,000 ounces. Pretty sweet. So you got a bunch of districts and towns down here that you can go check out, like by the Hoover Dam. Um, God, there's a lot of stuff there. All right, and the Colorado River is a great place, and it's uh, from the mouth of the Grand Canyon. All the river bars and gravel beds have gold in them. You got the Mojave Wash, uh, right? Creek, and those are all part of that county. Then you got Navajo County, and that's the same Painter Desert region, large area that's got disseminated uh, gold in the residual clays. Um, Pima County, you've got, it ranks seventh among Arizona's gold producing counties, and some places in that area were like a million ounces of gold as a byproduct, which is pretty heavy. Um, so you got some districts in here and some towns that it, it tells you exactly where stuff's going on. And so let's just move to Penal County or Pinal County, County. I'm not sure which way you say it. So it ranks uh, sixth among Arizona's gold producing counties with nearly a million ounces of, of load and placer gold. That, that's pretty prestigious as well. You've got some towns down here, not so many mining districts. Um, Let's move to Santa Cruz County. Sorry I'm going so fast, guys. I want to keep these videos shorter. Um, it's so in Hershaw, you've got near Patagonia. You know what, Santa Cruz, you got Nogales and Oro Blanco and some other places. Uh, this doesn't state exactly the, the amount that's come out of that county, but Yavapi, I think is how you say this one county. Um, it's uh, central Arizona, and it ranks first among the gold producing counties with three and a half million ounces. Dude, that's, that's a lot of gold. Um, so you got some definite mining districts and some towns. I'll make sure that all of this is up there for at least a second. Um, holy moly, yeah. So this place is just tons of areas to go. Like even near Prescott, holy moly. Okay, and then we got Yuma County, Arizona guys. And uh, this was fourth amongst the, the counties, and nine districts there have produced 771,000 ounces of gold. All right, that, that's, that's still going to go home really happy if you, you're on a good spot. Um, they got the Tank Mountains and uh, a town called Boosie and Castle Dome District. There's a bunch of stuff going on here. So I'm going to try to make sure it's all up and readable, like Quartzsite. Quartzsite, everybody knows about that if you don't look it up. Um, holy moly. Okay, so that's it for the gold right there. Um, I'm going to quickly move into the other stuff like the petrified wood, guys. 
This stuff is beautiful. It's actually a very, very unique type, very diverse coloration, and the largest deposit, I think, in the world of petrified wood is at Petrified Wood National Park, and if you don't plan on seeing it, you should. It's, it's honestly really, I mean, look at those, man. Those are really sweet. Um, you can't take anything from the parks though because it's an actual state park, but you can do your research and look into where you can either purchase and or rock hunt for it. But uh, look at those cabochons, man. Those are really nice. Um, let's move on. I really like the tables too. Let's do Apache Tears. It's a unique cultural rock that is uh, in native to Arizona, I believe. Uh, you might find it somewhere else. Uh, I can't remember. But it's gemstone quality sometimes and can look de delightful. And the specimen pictures are really cool too. So they're little uh, obsidian balls, basically, that form inside the host rock. And uh, it's, it's basically got some backstory to why they call them tears. And it's a, a native story where they, they left their horses off a cliff and the women were, were devastated. So let's move, though, into Peridot because Arizona is proud to contain the biggest mine and the 80 to 90 percent market capture on Peridot. They supply practically the whole world. Um, it's mined by the San Carlos tribe and it's on their reservation. It comes out at two mesas and the bright yellow green gemstone has been treasured for ages, but it's honestly the uh, birthstone for August and it's supposed to bring you peace, success, and good luck but it's beautiful. It's like lime green diamonds is what it looks like to, to me. Um, one of my favorites. So I'm going to move on to Amethyst. I'm trying to keep this video in the time frame. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. The Grand Canyon State is also the primary producer for yet another precious gemstone. That uh, It comes from the Four Peaks Amethyst Mine. And that place is hard to get to if you look it up. Um, it's up in those mountains that's up in there, but it's been mined on and off since the early 1940s and It's an angular vein of quartz on the side of the rough mountain top and it's contained within the National Forest Wilderness and is only accessible by foot or by helicopter, but dude amethyst. That's another really nice one um, Let's keep rolling and turquoise all the turquoise that you find that's the highest grade usually comes from Arizona and small patches in, in a couple other places, but none other than the state gemstone itself. And uh, it's iconic color and there's a lot of folklore that's attached to it. Um, it's coveted stone by most people who make Native American jewelry, but it's used in a lot of other things as well. But the, the colors on these ones, man, it's beautiful. Um, it's usually found near large copper deposits, and they're also abundant uh, pretty much all the way across Arizona. You can find uh, localities in lots of places. So, the, the best place is in the low desert and mid-elevation ranges, and there's several spots across the state. But that's, that's probably going to be about it for this video, guys. Hope you found it informative. Thank you so much for watching, and we're going to do the... Uh, the t-shirts so if you have an idea for a t-shirt for Arizona prospectors leave it in the comment maybe we'll make it and send you one for free um, now I would like you to subscribe please hit that button hit that that bell and follow us on our Instagram and Facebook and get engaged if you want to see the channel grow and you like the content you gotta you gotta get in here with us so this is a, a, a call to action <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and do the shameless self-promoting now. I, I apologize that we, uh, we want to support ourselves with what we mine from our, our crystal mine. And I was hoping that you'd go take a look at Hard Luck Mining or HardLuckStore.com. Sorry, excuse me. We have a lot of necklaces, pendants, and jewelry, and what is it? It's 44 seconds. I'm almost done. So we got a lot of stuff. Just go check it out, man. Um, hardluckstore.com and so if you're in Arizona and the weather's good I hope you're out there hunting and until we see you again man stay safe